What's up, you guys? Welcome to Ape and Hodel. This is Forrest. I'm Forrest. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to move KDA from Gate.io into your Zellcor wallet. Uh, this is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Also, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. I'm going to be giving away five Solana uh, to one of my subscribers. So, hit that notification bell, subscribe, do all that. All right, let's get right into it. We're on the Zellcor website here if you don't have the Zellcor wallet. I saw on Reddit, some people said they didn't like Zellcor. It's a little confusing, I'm not crazy about it. I'm gonna look into some other wallets, but this was kind of the first wallet that accepted KDA, so that's what uh, we're gonna be using for this uh, demonstration. I've been using it for a couple months now, and I've been okay, but some people on Reddit said you're gonna lose all your coins, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to do this because I couldn't find another tutorial that showed me how. Uh, so if you don't have it, you can go up here to try it now. Uh, you're going to click uh, whatever you're on, Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, I was on, I'm on Mac, so you download and then hit the, uh, the OS software. Okay, and then you're going to write down your, um, your uh, password, username, all that stuff. Keep that stored in a safe place, not on your computer. Keep it stored in a notebook or something like that. Now, we're in the Zellcor wallet right now. I actually just reconnected this wallet onto this computer. It was on a different computer and it looked like I had no um, crypto in my wallet. So I kind of freaked out a little bit. So make sure you're in your portfolio here and it might say zero, but then I looked down here and I did see this. I'm not sure if this was always here or if I had to switch the chain, but also what's weird is that my Cadena is in investments. So it could be an income payments. There's these different wallets. I don't really get this. I'm not, you know, I'm a medium fan of Zellcor, but I wanna show you guys how to do this because I didn't know how to do it and there was another video. Um, so here we have our investments. I have my KDA here uh, and click on that. And if, uh, if that's not there, hold on, let me go back real quick. If it's not here, you can go to manage assets and you can go to add assets and then uh, you can search for a KDA up here. Um, I think it's not showing because mine's already there. But anyways, if it's not there, you can find it that way and add it. All right, so we're gonna click on Cadena. You wanna make sure you're on the same chain if you've like reconnected your wallet or whichever chain you're on. Because if, if your other wallet was on chain zero or chain two or chain three, then it's not going to show up. So make sure you're on the right chain. Cadena has 20 chains, which is awesome. It's a, they use a chain web technology, which uh, gives it so much of its potential scalability, supposed scalability. It's one of the main reasons I'm very bullish on it. Um, so here we are, we can go down here to receive. Um, so here it says Cadena chain is migrating to secure K. Address is Cadena's uh, complex chain. Please make sure you're always using an address starting with K. So uh, make sure that you're using this top address here that starts with K, not this bottom address. Uh, and this was part of the things that was confusing for me. So anyways, all right, so now we're gonna go to our exchange uh, where we're at. This is, I'm showing you from Gate.io. Um, I have some Cadena in KuCoin, and I'm sure a lot of people have Cadena in KuCoin, and you can't withdraw right now, and it's kind of scary. Uh, it seems like people online think this is going to get figured out. It's been like this for a couple months. Uh, I wouldn't, I'm not freaking out about it, but I wouldn't buy any more Cadena on KuCoin. Uh, there's other exchanges you can do that. I use Gate. Uh, I've, I've been liking it. So um, we're going to go up here to withdraw. We're going to select the coin. I'm going to select Cadena. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy that address. Uh, you want to say trusted address, that's good. You want to check your network, we're on KDA. Uh, KDA has a one KDA fee, or Gate has a one KDA fee, and it seems similar to KuCoin as well. Um, it's kind of, it kind of seems ridiculous, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it is what it is, exactly. So I'm going to be moving I'll move like 75 KDA. Okay, submitting the request. I had to try that a couple times. Let's hope it goes through this time. 
Slide this bar over. Not going to save any passwords. Request has been successfully submitted. Awesome. So that's that. Uh, I'm not sure how fast it's going to transfer, how long it's going to take, but that's how you do that. So right here, you can look at recent withdrawals and it will show you the amount, the fee, it'll tell you it's processing. So if it's not in your wallet yet and it still says processing, you know that's why it's not because it went to somewhere else. So don't freak out if it doesn't move immediately. And just because this doesn't process or send really quickly, I don't believe that means it's necessarily the speed of the chain. It also has to do with gate IO. All right, that's it. How to send KDA into your Zelle Core wallet. And again, I'm gonna do some research into some other um, KDA wallets. And if you guys have any suggestions, KDA wallets that you like or things that you think are better than this, uh, this was just some, this was the first wallet I started using and I didn't see a good tutorial on it. So I wanted to make one for you guys so you can know how to do this easily. With KuCoin, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I don't know. It's really a bummer because the user interface of KuCoin I really enjoy, but the fact that they're locking our KDA is just crazy. Just not being able to get your crypto out of an exchange is pretty scary. So I would not be buying any more KDA on KuCoin. And uh, I'm, I'm bullish on KDA. Uh, I'm gonna, you can check out, I'm gonna do another video, a little KDA review, update what's going on in the ecosystem. I've been bullish. I've been buying through this dip. Uh, we've been hitting a big dip. I bought some more at like four high fours, uh, which was awesome. We're in like the six range, which I think is still really low or it has a support around six, I believe somewhere in there in the six range, it has a, has a, uh, a level of support there. So yeah, I mean, I think the sky's the limit with this. We're going to see the, um, platform growth is going up, uh, application growth. Uh, yeah, seems very scalable and I think it's a good, piece to have in your portfolio. So, woo, keep aping, keep hodling.